Hello guys, this is me Roshan and in this video we gotta learn about solubility principle. So let us consider a sparingly soluble electrolyte AB that dissolves in water with a very slightly as slightly as AB converts into A plus and B minus. So in the above reaction when the dissociation occurs the concentration of A plus and B plus B minus increases and the concentration initiates with the backward reactions which allows to attain the equilibrium. So when the solution is saturated at 25 degrees centigrade, the concentration of AB, A plus and B minus does not change with time. So using the law of mass action of at equilibrium constant EQ1, you can um, A plus and B minus and AB. So uh, equilibrium condition my AB is called to A plus and B minus. So we're saying this now we are, we are going to learn another important point that is like on a saturated condition at 25 degrees centigrade so equilibrium AB one equals to A plus and B minus so KEQ one equals AB equals to KSP the, that is solubility product so KSP one equals to react a product so A plus or B minus so solubility product of a sparingly soluble electrolyte is defined as the product of its ions product of its ions so, you know, and in saturated solution at 25 degrees centigrade so A plus or B minus is the ionic product on the basis of given value of ionic product of a sparingly soluble salt if the KSP is greater than IP by ionizing potential by when it is unsaturated if the KSP and IP barabar when it is saturated if the KSP and IP KSP when the IP dere by when it is super saturated so in case of super saturated solutions the excess solid precipitates out because IP is greater than KSP. So this is solubility product principle. The solubility product principle is used for the qualitative analysis of basic radicals. So I guess like you have understood at least some of the points of this. So yes guys, if you have learned, so please do feedback me. Uh, so thank you and keep watching us and keep tuning on.